Welcome to my channel. If you're new here and been here since day one, what's up? What's cracking? What's happening? What's poppin' shorty? It's your girl Nessa, period. And I have a get ready chat, chit chat, get ready with me. How Houston's been treating me. That rhyme there, period. Type of video, sit down video. I did my hair, I did my makeup. Everything that I did use for this makeup look will be linked below because I basically was just talking, but all the stuff I use will be down below. If you want to see this video and how I created this look and what's been going on with me in Houston, just keep watching. I need to stop doing this. I need to start. We're just gonna get started in this video. Um, my hair is a mess. Turn this light on. And yeah, we're just gonna get straight into it. So this is gonna be like a get ready with me. All the stuff that I'm using today will be linked below for you guys. So yeah, period. I just want to come on here and give you guys a little update of what's been up with me. So if you don't know and you haven't been keeping up with me, I just moved to Houston, Texas. I've been living here for about four months now. Let me just tell you guys how I basically decided to move here. I've been living in Milwaukee, Wisconsin my entire life. I was born and raised there. I started my business there. I've been doing makeup professionally for nine years now. I just felt like Milwaukee, my hometown, I just felt like it was just no more growing for me there. Like me as a business person, me still trying to, you know, expand my brand. I just felt like it was just no more growing for me. Like I kind of reached like my growing there, like I guess, I, I guess I reached my, my peak there. It was just like no more growing for me in my hometown. Don't love me, I, don't get me wrong. I love, love, love Milwaukee. Like that's always is gonna have a special place in my heart because without Milwaukee, I wouldn't be where I'm at now. And also too, my supporters, like my supporters all started when I started doing makeup in Milwaukee. And I am beyond thankful for everybody that supported for me. They came and got their makeup done by me in Milwaukee. Like I love, love, love Milwaukee. But I just felt like it was just like no more growing for me there. Just me as a person and me as a business. As you guys know, if you don't know, me and Kevin got into a really bad car accident last year in 20, 2021. 2021, me and Kevin got into a really bad car accident on Christmas. And I was on bed rest for about December, January, February, like two and a half months. This foundation looks dark, but I'm gonna fix it. Um, so me and Kevin was on bed rest for about two and a half months. Ooh, this concealer is kind of light. But I guess it's gonna help, uh, I guess, fix how dark this foundation is on me. Yeah, so me and Kevin was on bread rest for about two and a half months. And our lease was ending in June. And I remember telling Kevin prior to that, like, I want to move. I want to move out of town. And me and Kevin went to Houston in March. Mind you guys, I'd never been to Houston ever before. Going in March was actually my first time coming here. I fell in love with Houston. Let me move this mirror a little closer. But yes, I fell in love with Houston. And I was like, I want to move here. Like, this is what I want to do. So then me and Kevin decided on March 30th, which is Kevin's birthday, that we were going to move to Houston. We came back in April, looked at houses, and then we found our home. And moving to Houston was one of the best things that I ever did. We literally packed our stuff up. We drove 20 hours to Houston from Milwaukee, Wisconsin to Houston, Texas. It took us 20 hours. Our friends and family came and helped us move. We drove both our cars. We drove a truck, a moving truck down here and started a new life in Texas. It's just like crazy to think like that I really got up and moved because I am not the type of person that likes change. Moving down here was a really big change. Like, sorry, this foundation is too dark and it's gonna irritate me how dark it is. I had to go with the lighter. 
foundation. So yeah, we just decided to move and we've been here since June. I am so happy and thankful to be here, to have the support of Kevin. Me and Kevin made this big move to a whole different state that we don't even have family. If you watch like my previous vlogs, I was like going through it. Like I was nervous on not getting clientele. I was nervous to just like start over. And I think that's the one thing that like, I feel like a lot of people are scared of when they move is to start over and it is scary you guys like starting over was huge for us i was like so scared so nervous i remember when i opened up my book and i had like four girls book me i started crying because i'm just like oh my gosh i have clients and i was just so thankful like you know i had to basically start from somewhere i mean i did have a really big following especially on social media i felt like people had to know that i was here and to know that people to get people to know that i'm here i had to like really like post do hashtags i started following all the girls from houston and everyone always asks me like my clients that come to me like oh my gosh you only been here for four months like how'd you get your clients popping your clientele popping and it really was me following everybody from houston like i followed all the girls from houston and then I was doing makeup for girls that were like hairstylists that had like, you know, a bigger following so that they know like I'm in town and they could tell their clients like, oh, she do make, Nessa do makeup, go to her. So that's how I started getting clientele was I was doing girls for my YouTube channel, doing their makeup for free, having them help me promote my brand. And then, you know, I've been, honestly, I've only been working for three months now. These three months has been the best three months of my life. Getting clientele, getting the opportunity to work with Ari. If you don't know who Ari is, she's a real cow sister. I've been working with her lately. And I feel like Houston was where I was gonna get more opportunity. Atlanta was one of the places that I did want to move to, but I felt like Houston is, it's always been popping, but I feel like Houston is more popping now and it's up and coming. Like when people will be like, I want to go out of town before people be like, I want to go out of town, but I want to go to Atlanta, Atlanta for my birthday, Atlanta for vacation. Now it's like, everyone's like, I want to go to Houston, Houston for my birthday. So I felt like moving to Houston was going to be the best option for me. And I felt like with, I felt like with Atlanta, I feel like Atlanta's already oversaturated with makeup artists. Not saying that like, obviously if I was to go to Atlanta, I would definitely do very well. But it just like, I just felt like it was just oversaturated. And I feel like Atlanta's small and Houston's huge. And it's just like so much opportunity here. So I knew that Houston was gonna be my best bet. Ever since I moved, it's been the best thing that's ever happened to me. So much opportunity, so much like meeting new people. I, I love meeting new people and networking i feel like that's huge especially for what i do and i just want people to know who i am you know i want people to know that i am a makeup artist and i came to houston to take over yeah i am so happy that i decided to move to houston how i built my clientele up is really like following a lot of the girls from here and just taking pictures of every single client and i just kept thinking of how did i build my brand up when I first started doing makeup. What the hell did I do to get popping? And I just remember like posting a lot. Like I remember posting a lot of social, Instagram wasn't popping when I first started doing makeup. Eventually it did start getting popping and I just remember like I was constantly posting pictures, constantly posting pictures. And I never really, I don't say I never really used hashtags, but hashtags wasn't really my thing when I first started doing makeup. And I was just like, let me start doing hashtags because that's how people are gonna find me on Instagram. They're not just gonna just find me on Instagram off their explore page. So I was like, let me start doing hashtags saying I'm a Houston makeup artist. And honestly, like, 90% of my clientele find me on Instagram and they're like, yeah, I, followed you on, I found you on Instagram. I looked up Houston anyway and you were the first one that popped up. If you decide to move out of town, I say do it, but just know you have to be uncomfortable at first. You can't get nowhere. You can't be successful if you're not uncomfortable. I was, I was so uncomfortable when I first moved down here. I was like so nervous. I was just like, what am I gonna do? I don't have a clientele. And this is like my main source of income. I was just nervous. To just start over. I'm glad that I was put in that position to be uncomfortable because now it's on and popping. 
is on a popinger in Houston. And I'm not stopping, period. So I'm gonna quickly do my eyebrows because I can't really talk when I do my eyebrows. So I'm gonna probably fast forward this part. I really wish I could get some new eyebrows. Like, I wish my eyebrows were fuller and bigger. But I guess that's what I get for um, over plucking my eyebrows when I was younger. Anyways, kind of forgot what I was talking about. But yeah, um, sorry you guys, I kind of forgot what I was talking about. But yeah, like, I definitely do encourage people to feel like, if you feel like you have outgrown your state, your city where you're from it's time to go that was me i felt like i outgrown my city and it was just no more opportunity there was no more growing for me there and moving to texas well moving to houston has put me on so much opportunity here to make more money to meet more people to network and it's freaking mind-blowing that i got to work with ari and work with her multiple times in a matter of a month i say don't be scared it is okay to be scared that's what i'm trying to say don't don't now i'm not saying don't be scared it's okay to be scared and to be uncomfortable i feel like i haven't been put in this spot to be uncomfortable in a really long time and i was just so comfortable with i felt like i was just so comfortable with living in milwaukee that i knew there was just bigger opportunities for me i knew that i was bigger than what I was in my hometown. And I just had to go for it. It takes a lot of dedication, for sure. Don't get me wrong, it takes a lot of de de dedication. It takes a lot mentally to put, your si put yourself in like a mindset of starting all over again. Because that's basically what I did, was I started all over again. And it was scary. It was so freaking scary. Just like thinking about it, like crazy like four months ago i was so scared and like so nervous to move and like being here like real life like being here and not having any family here and starting all over again was so scary and it scared the shit out of me because i didn't know what the hell i was doing i just knew that i wanted to be somebody and i wanted people to know that Amy Wayne Ness is here to take over houston and that's what i did and take me as an example of take me as an example of it's okay to be uncomfortable definitely having the support with kevin helped me stay sane because kevin was just like why are you so nervous like you know people are gonna book you you're popping you got this and i just kept doubting myself like i'm just so scared like i don't know what it was i was just so scared like i was nervous i was just like it was normal i told kevin i'm like it's normal for me to feel this way like i'm just nervous like it's just it's different for me I'm thankful to have him because without Kevin, honestly, I wouldn't know what to do. Like, I probably wouldn't have moved down here if it wasn't for him too. Because I was just, like I said, I always been the type of person that was afraid of change. I'm always, I was afraid of being uncomfortable and then being here by myself. I don't have no family here, you guys. All my family is back at home. It's literally just me and Kevin. I'm just so thankful to have him. And it's good to have somebody, you know. Like, I know, I feel like... I can't imagine myself moving somewhere and like being by myself like it's so scary and I'm not saying like depend on somebody but really like Kevin was my support it's just crazy but overall Houston has been doing me very well I'm trying to think of what else has been going on it is a little hard to meet friends but I'm glad that, you know, I'm working with a lot of girls from Houston now because like 90, at first, at, at first when I was doing makeup, like 80% of my clients were from, well, 80% of my clients is from out of town, which I don't mind because I love meeting everybody. I love meeting all the girls from different states because back at home in Milwaukee, like all my clients were clients that were from Milwaukee. Like I never really had clients from out of town. I'll have like a few here and there, but actually having like clientele from all over is like crazy. Like 
meeting people from New York, from Baltimore, from Washington, like Kentucky. Like I met so many girls since I've been doing makeup here. It's just like crazy to me. I feel like you could do anything if you put your mind to it. I know it's easier said than done, easier said than done, but honestly, that's really how I feel. I feel like if you want something and you want to change your life and want better for yourself, you would put in the work because I put in the work y'all like blood sweat and tears like it's still crazy to me that I actually live in a whole different state and it's been popping ever since there is a saying that there's this clip on Instagram about Steve Harvey where he made where he said to be successful you have to get comfortable be comfortable with being uncomfortable and this like really hit home for me because I'm not gonna cry because it's so true. If you stay in your comfort zone, that's where you will fail. You will fail in your comfort zone. Success is not a comfortable procedure. It is a very uncomfortable thing to attempt. So you got to get comfortable being uncomfortable if you ever want to be successful. Start putting some pressure on. Put some pressure on yourself. When... I seen that video, it really hit home for me because I was just always comfortable, comfortable with where I was at in life. And being uncomfortable really showed me that you could be successful. So successful if you put your mind to it and really want it. And that's what I wanted to do. I really wanted to be the next makeup artist here in Houston. Go look at your girl now. I'm booked and busy and I'm traveling and working with amazing people. So it's okay to be, it's okay to be scared. It is, trust me it is. And seeing that video really like, was just like, I felt like he was talking to me, you know? So yeah, that is basically, so yeah. Um, now I'm about to do my lips. I think I'm gonna do, let's see how this looks. How do you feel about this lip? I kind of like it. So I'm gonna tell you what I did for my lips before I put it. So I did sweet tea to line my lips. I put makeup, no, I put sweet tea around my lips and then I used Backseat Love to fill in my lips. And then I used Fashion Nova shade Tone. This lipstick from Fashion Nova is fire. I'm obsessed with it. And then I used Ginger Nars Concealer to put in the center. And then I'm gonna put some gloss on top because I like a good gloss on my lips. We're gonna use the Buxom White Russian for my lips because I love this gloss. So I'm about to try to attempt to curl my hair. Let me go get my curler. So yeah, I mean, that's basically new with me. Ooh, my hair is crunchy as you can see. And here, some crunchy ass hair. So yeah, it's okay to be scared. It's okay to be uncomfortable. But to succeed in your life, you have to be uncomfortable. And I knew that this is what I wanted. I knew that I wanted to be in a different state. And your girl made it happen. I made it happen. And honestly, without the support of you guys too, I wouldn't be here right now. I'd probably still be in Milwaukee. So yeah, what's been up with you guys? Like, how's everything going with you guys? You guys, this year is flying. Like, it's October and it's supposed to be November. I did get this curling one or curling iron from Amazon. And I like the fact that it's long. And this is how the other ones you look. Like, this is the T3 next to this one. I like the fact that this is long. So yeah, I'm glad that I got it. It's, it's kind of hot. Let me see if I can do it a different way. I kind of want to do like this. Maybe do wand style. But yeah, I like a wand style for sure. But um, yeah, I'll link this down below for you guys. But yeah, what's been up with you guys? What's been new? This year is ending. Do you guys have any big plans for Thanksgiving, for Christmas, for New Year's? I don't know what I'm doing for my birthday. Honestly, I think I'm just going to stay here because... My birthday falls the same week as Thanksgiving this year. Boo. So, I think that's what I'm gonna do is just stay here and celebrate my birthday here. Hopefully some of my friends and family will come down here for my birthday. Because I think there's people coming down, I think there's some people that's coming down for Thanksgiving. So I probably might celebrate my birthday after Thanksgiving.
But honestly, if you are in the beauty field and you're looking for somewhere to move and you want to start your business all over, Houston is where it's at. Houston is huge and it's just so many people that live here that it's just like you're guaranteed to get clients. It might take a while, but you will get there if you work hard and actually put the time and effort and the hard work, the blood, the sweat, the tears into your business. As I am thinking about not I am thinking, but I am going to be relaunching my makeup brand. I just didn't, I just stopped it for a little bit because, I just stopped it because I want to build up my name in Houston. I want people to know who I am before even starting up my business again because once I start it up, I know it's going to be on and popping. So stay tuned for that. I will be relaunching my makeup brand, but... You could do anything if you really want it. You have to want it for you to succeed in anything for you to be successful. You have to want it and work hard. Work hard pays off. I did it twice. I, did, I took the chances of quitting my job in 2016. It was 2016. It was 2016. I was working for Mac. I literally told him I quit because one of the managers really pissed me off. <laughs> Honestly, she pissed me the F off where I was just like, I don't need this job. I'm like, I'm putting my two weeks notice in and just stop showing up. I took that chance of quitting my job and doing makeup full time. And that was huge of me. I didn't have makeup. I didn't have money back then. I was still living with my mom and them. And I took the chance of quitting my job where it was a guaranteed income and started doing makeup. That was, a, that was huge. I'm not saying do it that now. I think... If you are starting your brand, still continue to have a steady income. And once your income is like where you want it to be, where you're comfortable, then put your all into it. It does take a little discouraging at first. It is a little discouraging at first, but it all pays off at the end. I wish I was like dedicated like this with losing weight. Because your girl has gained so much weight since I've been here, you guys. It's so hard to lose weight here because it's so much good food. It's like, you want to eat everything. Girl, I was, the oxtails and the crawfish here in Houston is undefeated. There was a point in time where I was eating oxtails and crawfish for like two weeks straight. I know. As you guys can see, probably, I, you guys can probably see in my face and like my body, I gained a lot of weight. And I really wish I had the dedication to lose weight. I tried, you guys, I tried. I promise you guys I do. But it's just so hard. But let me get out of that mindset because if I want it, I'm gonna work hard for it. And I wanna be skinny. I don't like my hair straight. I think I said that in one of my videos before. I hate straight hair on me. Maybe I should start trying it. I think I'm gonna put my hair up in a ponytail. Um, I need to curl these pieces. But, yeah, that's basically about it. I do have shorter pieces in the front part of my hair. Yeah, I just want to come on here to give you guys an update of what's been going on in my life moving to Houston. Some encouraging words for you guys. If you plan on if you plan on relocating, do it. When you work hard for something, you want something, you have to work hard for it. Period. Like if you want something that like so bad to the point where you're like willing to do anything, I feel like that makes people stronger as a person and to know that they could do bad by themselves, period. I feel like a lot of people don't talk about the cost too when it comes to moving. Honestly, moving to Texas costs a lot of money. It costs a lot of money to clearly drive. It costs a lot of money to get your home. It's very expensive to move. I always say have at least 
20,000 to 30,000 saved up. Even though 20,000, 30,000 isn't a lot, but that's just like the minimum so that you're at least comfortable and have something to fall back on. I've met people, I, mean, I know people that moved out of town with zero dollars in their pocket and just took the chances and did amazing, but it's stressful. That's so stressful and I would never recommend that to anybody, like to put that type of stress on yourself, no. No ma'am, no ma'am. I feel like moving out of town too is just scary, but is it good scary once you start seeing progress in your life from moving? And ever since I moved, all I see is progress. It's going up, 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 up. It's not going down, it's going up. It's not staying in one spot, it's going up, 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 up. Put your mind to it, like put your mind to it. But I don't recommend ever for anyone to move with a zero dollars out of town. That's so stressful, I can't even like imagine it. Like that is so scary, taking that chance. But yeah, like moving to Houston was definitely the best thing that ever happened to me. And I'm so thankful for all the support, all the kind words from everyone. The support is still overwhelming to this day. And I'm so thankful to have everyone who supports me and everyone that has been supporting me because honestly, I wouldn't know what to do if I didn't have the support that I do. And you guys, literally, the words that you guys like write me really means a lot to me. And it means it always keeps me sane and keeps me going. And I'm so thankful for all my supporters. Like, it's just crazy. It's crazy that I have so many supporters from like all over. And I met supporters here in Houston. Because back in Milwaukee, I never ever met supporters. Like, I'll meet like a few here and there. But like, I always meet supporters whenever I go out anywhere. Like, it's just like crazy. Like, people go to me like, aren't you Nessa? I'm like, yeah, girl. Like, I just love meeting my supporters because you guys truly mean a lot to me. And like, for you guys to come up and talk to me and actually have a conversation with me is like, it makes me feel good to meet the person that's been supporting me, you know what I mean? And I'm just so thankful for everybody. If you want something, girl, you're gonna work for it. And that's just period. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, please give this video a thumbs up. Comment below. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you ain't subscribed to my channel already because we're finally at 100K. 100K subscribers. 100K girls, period. I'm so thankful for every single one of you guys. I hope you guys, like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll talk to you in my next one.